Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video we got a brand new laptop here. This one is a brand, is a Gia brand and these are like a brand from Mexico. But I seen that many of them coming in with a, I see another company buying this laptop with a Hyundai brand on it. So pretty much any Hyundai or Gia brand, they are keep purchasing these laptops of China and they just branding them with their own brand on top but if you have the gear model and these ones they come with a 4 gig on board ram and 64 gigabyte uh, memory chip installed on the motherboard they don't have an actual ssd they have a M uh, C mmc chip on the motherboard which is a 64 gigabyte which is not enough but you can add an extra 2.5 inch uh, sata ssd or mechanical drive on these laptops I'm going to show you guys how to add uh, that extra space in here. You can purchase yourself. I'll leave the link in the description for a uh, um, cheap brand SSDs or a better brand SSD that you can fit in here. Or you can simply get yourself a mechanical hard drive, one terabyte or two terabyte hard drives, and you can add it. All right, so let's get into it and let's get into the process. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. And then you want to grab yourself the screwdriver set. I would re really recommend you guys to get the iFixit tool set kit, the screwdriver. The reason is because they have one of the best tool set out there. These are S2 class steel. They will last you a very long time. You want to grab a Philips number zero. Also, you will need an opening tool. You can get the pro version of this one. I'll try to link the li link for this one in the, my description. The pro set will give you an opening tool. If you don't want to get the pro set, just grab any guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick. These are suitable to opening electronics. All right, with those set, now what we want to do first, flip over the laptop upside down, and you're going to see a cover right here. This cover just is perfect size for the hard drive right there. This is empty cover. To open it up, all you need to do is screw these two screws, unscrew them, remove both the screws. They are the same size and height. Now you just want to grab it from here. If you don't have a fingernail to go through there, just use guitar pick and then pop it off. There is no caddy with this laptop or anything like that. All you need to do is to grab your mechanical drive. You can fit a seven millimeters in profile or a slim one or any SSD which have the standard low profile. To, to stick in there, all you need to do, pay attention to the coordination of the uh, SATA and the power connector. So SATA is on this side and the power is on this side. And there is the one here, the short one and the big one. You don't want to put it the other way around, otherwise it will not go through. So you want to align it, make sure it aligns right there and then put it down and then use a pick to just push it all the way towards the back. Don't worry, you don't have to do any filling here. Don't fill up with anything because the cover has a little bumps in there. These bumps will just stop it from pulling out. So you can put an SSD drive in there to remove it, just slide it back and lift it up. Or don't lift it up from here, lift it up from here. You can grab a mechanical drive, slide it, put the head in first, and then slide it all the way in. To remove it, same thing, pull it back. Lift up from the back end, put it to side. So let's see, once you put a new one in there, new hard drive, you might, uh, if you log into the windows, you get in the windows, you might not be able to see it in my computer. That means you have to go to device manager. In order to get to the device manager, you have to right click on my computer and click administrator. And from there, you're gonna choose the uh, hard drive management or drive management. And in there, you might wanna have to activate it. So let's turn this one on and see how it works. So, all right, once you're inside the desktop, you want to open uh, Explorer, File Explorer. And in here, you want to go to my computer. And you see, I only see OneDrive in here. So if you see OneDrive, that one is not activated. Right click on my computer on the left side and click Administrator. And right through there, you want to go down on the left side 
whenever he wants to open it. All right. In here, you want to go to Disk Management, Disk Administrator, right in here. And uh, you should be able to see the second hard drive. It would give you this format. You want to convert it to GPT or MBR. Keep it as GPT and click accept. And you should see the hard drive right here with a it's a disk zero with uh, four four hundred sixty-five gigs or five hundred gig. And all you want to do, right click on it and click new simple volume and click next, next, next. And give it a name if you want to give it as a name or leave it as a new. Click next and finish. And just wait for it to format and finish it up. And it will assign a new volume. You just simply go close it up. And on my computer, you're going to see the new 500 gigabyte space right there. All right, once you finish with that, then you can just move your files to that one or install your Windows on the new drive. I would recommend to install. If you put an SSD, install your new drive in the new SSD and you should have plenty of space to install your window, Windows programs. And that's it. I hope you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out. If you did, please click that like button and if you want to subscribe and support the channel, you know what to do. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.